Our first 50 BDPs proved the power of extraordinary faculty working across disciplines to address urgent and complex questions. We're so excited for what the future holds for this program as we build upon this foundation and recruit the next cohort of Bloomberg Distinguished Professors and develop these clusters. There's a gap between clinical knowledge and clinical practice. There's a gap between models of care and actually what happens in care. And there's gaps between policies and policy action. Hi, I'm Katherine McDonald, and I'm the co-lead of the Knowledge to Action and Business of Health cluster. Our intent is to study uh, ways that you accelerate the movement of the knowledge that will actually affect lives, affect health systems and uh, be better for a more productive, more equitable, more affordable healthcare system is better for those working in it and those who are getting services from it. We are not in the business of creating more healthcare. We're in the business of creating more health. We're building a community of practice that brings together the scientists and those who would be affected by the science to close the gaps. You need social scientists, you need those in medicine, you need those in nursing, you need those in public health to work together to actually understand the complexity better than it's been understood. Ultimately, because we're looking through this lens of the business of health and knowledge to action, our cluster is hoping and very intent on having what Hopkins stands for and the entire culture at Hopkins of having our work make a difference in people's lives. The Bloomberg Distinguished Professorships were established in 2013 with a gift from Michael Bloomberg to cultivate the interdisciplinary research ethos that allows us to tackle our biggest questions and meet our greatest societal challenges. Today, it is the largest program of its kind in the nation. Our BDPs will have access to our world-class facilities, including the Applied Physics Laboratory, an unparalleled powerhouse of scientific engineering research, and 555 Pennsylvania Avenue, a state-of-the-art facility in Washington, D.C., in sight of the U.S. Capitol building that will bring together faculty and students to engage more directly with the public and policymakers. Faculty will also be joining an institution that for 40 years has led all U.S. universities in research and development spending.